If you're new to Canvas, you'll notice on the left-hand side of your screen different options of accessing different parts of the course. I'd like to spend just a few minutes kind of going over uh, the Canvas platform so that you can become a little bit familiar with how to navigate around the different content uh, that you'll find throughout the semester. In this particular example, I'm looking at a composition course, um, but it could be any course depending on uh, what, uh, what class you've signed up for. Uh, but it basically will look the same in terms of how you'll navigate around the, the site. So on the left hand side you'll notice the home screen. This will more than likely be the, uh, the first screen that you come in contact with as you enter into your course. I'll create a separate video on how to create an account in Canvas if you're new to, uh, to, the, uh, to the site. Underneath home you'll see announcements. So here you'll find different announcements that will be made throughout the semester so you can access these and respond uh, as needed. You'll be able to check your attendance and your grades. Okay, So essentially everything that we do face to face will reside in this website or this platform and the idea is to have a way to access some of the content uh, that complements what we do face to face so that uh, that if you need additional information or different uh, additional assistance you can you can find that here uh, in this website now the modules you'll notice here we have modules assignments and pages so and also discussions here but uh, I want to look at first modules okay so a lot of this information is the same it's just you can access it in different ways in uh, in canvas so for example under modules in this particular example I have divided up modules by week I could also uh, in some cases you'll find that modules will be organized by content or by topic or theme. Uh, so it just it's going to depend a lot on the course. Right? But in, in this case, it's subdivided into weeks. So in week one, this will be what we complete. Week two, this is what we'll be, we'll be doing, and so on. So here you can find out each week what we're doing in the class and this is one way to access this information. Now you'll notice under assignments, now assignments are going to be those where you will receive a grade. In this particular case assignments are organized by units but it's going to be similar information so let's take an example of this ePortfolio you'll find in unit one. If you go into modules you'll see the same ePortfolio. This is the same, uh, in this case, the same assignment. It's an assignment that was assigned in module, or for week one. So it's assigned here. And under assignments, it happens to coincide with unit one. And this is the same, same information. So that was, uh, that's what I mean by a lot of times it's the same information, but you can choose to access this information in different ways. Another way you can access this is through pages. Now pages, this is the front page, this will be the default as you enter it the first time into pages, but if you view all pages here at the top, you'll find a list, an alphabetical list of all the pages that are part of this course. So this is a way that you can access this content. Uh, let me look for an example here. In fact, let me go back to modules. And here we have, let's see, how to create a blog. Okay, this is a page that's in week one, in module week one, how to create a blog. If I go to pages, view all pages, and I scroll down to how to create a blog. Here's the same page. Okay, so this is the same information. If I click here, this is the content. If I go to modules, how to create a blog, you'll find it's the same information. 
So at first this might be a little bit confusing, but uh, I think you'll quickly gravitate towards one of these methods that uh, you find is most intuitive, that's the easiest for you to access. Again, there's not a right or wrong way to do it, but uh, this is one of the strong points of using this platform is the variety, the flexibility of accessing the same information. So again, modules, assignments, and pages, a lot of times the same, dis same, same content. Same way with discussions. So discussions can also reside in modules. Okay, so here there are not a lot of discussions at this point, but you'll be able to find discussions here and also in modules. Okay, quizzes and to find people. So if you want to send a message to me or your classmates, right now there are no students enrolled, but you'll find a list of all the students enrolled and you can uh, correspond and communicate and send each other messages as necessary. Files, this is where you'll find different files for the, for the course. So if you click here under syllabus, you'll see uh, this information. Conferences, collaborations, we won't use that much. Um, and uh, the main thing will be, I think, the modules and the assignments. I think these will be the, the main tabs that you, uh, you might want to become familiar with from the very beginning. And you have a calendar over here. So whenever we have assignments due, that will, those will appear in the calendar on the right-hand side of your screen. So I think the main thing is just to start looking around, navigate around, and uh, I will also include a short video on mobile apps that you can use to access the same information. So again, welcome, and if you do have any questions or issues about how to navigate or find information, uh, feel free to contact me.